But one race is definitive. Michigan's GOP Senate primary, where Iraq War veteran John James beat fellow challenger Sandy Pensler by nine points. President Trump tweeted this, congratulations to a future star of the Republican Party. Future Senator John James, a big and bold victory tonight in the great state of Michigan, the first of many. November can't come fast enough. Here now, John James, the Republican nominee for Senate in Michigan. Great to have you on the program tonight. Uh, you know, just to tell Thanks people a, a little bit of, about what last night felt, I want to hear directly from you. And now it's day one as you head down the road. Uh, last night felt absolutely incredible. Um, it was awesome to, uh, to give the glory to God and also to point out the folks who got me to this point, the grassroots support that we felt since the very, very beginning, folks who believe that Michigan is, uh, is truly a state that uh, is the home of the American dream, is the birthplace of the middle class, and we're finally going to send somebody to Washington who understands what it takes to grow a business. I grew my family business from $35 million to $137 million. But I also understand what it takes to keep America safe. In your last segment with Senator Graham, he spoke about something, uh, the Iranian uh, uh, exporting mm -hmm. of terror and, uh, and, uh, and, and, and hate. And I understand that personally, fighting in Iraq and fighting with Iranian trained fighters that actually took, and, uh, took American lives, killed American yeah. soldiers. So I have personal experience understanding national security. And I'm looking forward to bringing my experience to bear in Washington. Not to make this all about the military and Iran right now, but you bring up a point that maybe people aren't aware of tonight as much, but we are fighting them on the ground in Syria. I mean, they are, they are going after our men and women on the ground there. Uh, but, but let's move on and talk about you because you've just gotten off a stage with Vice President Pence. What did he say to you? Uh, Vice President Pence is 100% behind me. Uh, Vice President Pence and um, President Donald Trump are 100% behind this race because they know that Michigan is in play. They know that Debbie Stabenow is vulnerable because for 43 years as an elected official and 20 years in Washington, she's gotten nothing done for the state of Michigan. Uh, they recognize that I'm going to do everything that I can to bring economic opportunity back to the state of Michigan, to continue right. to make sure that we tout our gains and that we don't uh, stay on the defensive. We go on the offensive and we tell everybody that we are the party of emancipation, we are the party of suffrage, and we are the party mm. of economic opportunity, separation of powers, and making sure that everybody can achieve the American dream. Yeah, those are interesting things to bring up, particularly uh, from an African-American uh, candidate. And in a state like Michigan, where you had just so many problems for African-Americans and people of color, poverty, Flint, Michigan, under the, um, the leadership of Democrats, and I understand you want to flip that. I, I want to kind of leave on that line because that's what people are thinking. You know, politics are local. So what will you change for Michigan? And oh, by the way, did it get enough attention uh, in 2016 from the other side of the political aisle? Well, I came back from Iraq because while I was over fighting, I saw uh, pictures on Armed Forces Networks of areas of the places you just mentioned, Flint, Saginaw, mm -hmm. Detroit, Benton mm -hmm. Harbor, that looked worse than the combat zone I was flying in. So I came back and helped create jobs. And what we need to do is make sure that we continue to push forward the, the opportunity zones that just got signed in the Tax Cuts and Job Act, that our president moved forward. Our president's numbers are moving forward. He's in the 29 percent approval rating. But right now, African Americans are in a situation where the Democratic Party is ignoring them and we have a Republican Party that's now uh, we have a Republican Party now that's paying attention I'm gonna be listening and learning before I lead and I'm uh, I'm happy to not have a black or a white message but a red white and blue message and make sure that I bring forward and get results that Debbie Stabenow has not gotten red white and blue all the way and thank you for your service John James congratulations on last night and thanks for being on the program thank you for having me go Absolutely. to John James for Senate.com I appreciate your support